Since 2017, South Korean actress Han So-hee has appeared in a number of K-dramas, and each of her roles has been uniquely different, leading to some characters being way more interesting than others. Han first entered the K-drama scene in 2017 when she took on a minor role in the series, Reunited Worlds. From there, she quickly collected even more roles until she became a notable leading lady. Most recently, Han has become known for K-dramas like Gyeongseong Creature, Nevertheless, and My Name. Han is a talented actress with plenty to offer, but her characters aren't always the best. Of the nine K-drama roles Han has originated, there are some truly amazing characters, and some more forgettable ones. Han's best characters are those with interesting storylines and plenty to do on screen. Meanwhile, her worst characters are those who don't bring much to the plot, and worse, seem more like devices to keep the story moving rather than real people. Ultimately, Han's best and worst characters are not a reflection on her or her performances, but point out which K-drama characters in general are the most, or the least, exciting to watch. Lee Sayer won in Reunited Worlds. Han plays the brother's girlfriend. It should be no surprise that Han's least interesting role was her very first in 2017's Reunited Worlds. This K-drama follows a high school couple who are struck by tragedy when the boyfriend is unexpectedly killed. However, their story turns even more complicated when the boyfriend comes back to life 12 years later, sparking a renewed love story and a search for the truth. In the series, Han plays Lee Sayer one the boyfriend's brother's girlfriend. Considering that Han's character is part of the extended cast and only plays a minor role in the series, it makes sense that she is not the most interesting. Sayer one's character is made up of three parts, Sung Young Jun's girlfriend, the daughter of the hospital director, and a fashion journalist. Altogether, these are somewhat interesting traits, but they never get much exploration because Sayer Woon simply isn't at the heart of this story. Therefore, Sayer Won is one of Han's least interesting characters that a character that is a step up from Han's role in Reunited Worlds is Sayer Won in Money Flower. This 2017 revenge K-drama follows Kang Jil Poo, a respected attorney at the iconic Chong A group who intends to avenge his family's deaths by taking down the company once and for all. To do this, he intends to set up Jang Bu Chion with a beautiful woman, yet Jil Poo begins to fall for her instead, creating a complex and troublesome love triangle. Meanwhile, Han plays Bu Chion's former lover, Sayo Won. Sayo Won in Money Flower is a bit more fun to watch than Sayo Won in Reunited Worlds because the former is not just Bu Chion's lover, but his secret lover. This adds another layer of intrigue to her story, where she grows jealous of Bu Chion's new love interest, but cannot publicly show her disdain. Her ties to the Chong A group also put her in a unique position to cause chaos within the already difficult love triangle. Ultimately, Sayo Won isn't the greatest character, but she definitely adds a little bit of spice to the plot point one of Han's more recent K-drama roles that falls on the more boring side of things is Lee Eunsu in Soundtrack No. 1. This drama follows childhood best friends, Eunsu and Han Sion Wu, who reunite after many years when they begin living together. Sion Wu is a photographer who moves in to help Eunsu write a song about unrequited love for a major music producer. As they reignite their old friendship, the pair begin to realize that their own feelings for each other may run deeper although Han is the lead character in soundtrack number one, her role is not the most riveting. Eunsu is definitely a solid character, as she has a creative job as a lyricist and goes through a wide range of emotions, but soundtrack number one is generally too short to make Eunsu exciting. With only four episodes under its belt, soundtrack number one moves fairly quickly, making it difficult for Eunsu to stand out as anything more than just a fine protagonist. 